guys, Black Armory is out, mm -hmm. and I don't like it. <laughs> I know. We know. It's it's uh, about 45 minutes of content. If you're light level 600, basically what you do is you do the grind on the EDZ, and then you go into the raid and you kill people, and then the grind's done. And then it opens up a recommended light level 610 activity, which is match made, which is a positive, and uh, you can't beat it. Unless you're a super tryhard. Uh, how do you guys feel about it? Well, so me and Steven beat it last night. With who? Uh, Teddy. Yeah. As if that disqualifies us from having done it, <laughs> you say. Uh, yeah, so hold on. Impressions. Yeah, I think it's interesting because after beating it, you get a little bit of a better glimpse of what Bungie is trying to do with these forges and the idea that there's going to be multiple forges coming in the future where we unlock weapons mm -hmm. for a week-long or we sort of uh, week-long activity. It seems like it might actually be an interesting thing to do on the regular because... Uh, the forges. Yeah, because, so for instance, both Steve or, you know, both Steven and I completed it and the roll he got and the shader he got on the machine gun that you earned from that first time is... Yeah. Like far superior to the one that I got, so I can see myself doing this once, twice, three times per week, um, just to get that god roll of the item, whatever you're trying to unlock. So yeah. it seems like there's something replayable there. So, did you have to power up or anything? Did you do it at 600? Did you do all the weeklies and everything to get this so, around 610? So I was at 600 when Black Armory dropped, and yeah. then by the time we jumped in, I was right between 602 and 603. I'd yeah. gotten like a couple of small 601 or 602 upgrades from one or two weeklies and the mm -hmm. dailies and stuff like that, just like some random powerful income drops, and that's where I was at. But I was the lowest and least effective in our group. Steven, you were like 607 or 608, right? 609, 609. Yeah, and then Teddy was 610, 612 mm -hmm. in yeah. that area. Yeah, I'm 610 right now. I'm going to be hopping back in probably with Teddy and some of the other people on the raid crew either today or tonight. But at the time when it launched, we were doing it around 602, only had two. We were matchmaking with the Blueberry, and that's kind of hit or miss. But they're all coming in around 600. And what really, really bothers me about the content is, A, the quest is absolutely ridiculous. You go to Spider, you get a card, you go in. She's like, you can't be here. Oh, yeah. Have this broken bus. So, so, oh, you're good. Steven and I it's were talking. It's ridiculous. Steven yeah. and I were talking a little <laughs> bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, laughably terrible. No, the way he <laughs> described it, well, I thought was really funny. Like, just figuring out where the Black Armory is to yeah. get in the yeah. beginning. Dude, like, okay, for... <laughs> The tower was destroyed, <laughs> and we rebuilt the tower, right? Yeah. Who the hell made the Black Armory? <laughs> how did none of us know? And how did no one there? know the Black Armory was there? Like, I didn't know where the Black Armory was. And then when it said, go to the tower, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. You go all the way downstairs. And I'm thinking to myself, who in the world made this room? Let this person in here. <laughs> Let her put a guns in here. Yeah. Like, how did no one know about this? And she, like, <laughs> she totally hates Guardians, mm -hmm. at least at the beginning. Except uh, like, for you. Yeah, no, no. Because she, you went and farmed a bunch of planetary materials She's, or whatever. like, totally against Guardians. Yeah. So, like, the idea that, like, Zavala and Ikora were like, yeah, we'll let you, you know, be in the just basement like, here. Like, mm -hmm. it just doesn't really make any sense. I just thought that was, <laughs> really thought that was hilarious. Yeah. yeah, it was really funny yeah. when you're like... All right, Black Armory. I'm gonna go do this thing, and like they're like, go to the tower. And you're like, wait, it's in the tower. Because <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Stephen was like, when he was telling me, uh, he was like, where do you? He was like, guess where your Black Armory is, and I was like, where's the least interesting place that it could be? The tower. And he goes, that's exactly <laughs> where it is. And I was like, oh my god. So that was a little bit of a bummer. And then I thought that there well, was what a about the bit, quest? What about the quest, Sean? Um, the quest is relatively straightforward, right? Like, but is it good? Is this what you you wanted? Because for me, it, well, it's literally go to a planet, kill some fallen. All right, now kill the big guy. Yeah, All right, so he's I dead. Mean, Open the box. All right, actually, now go kill a bunch of stuff, and then you can do the fort. Yeah, so, I mean, you're oversimplifying a little bit, but not really. No. Like, basically, what you're supposed to do is kill a bunch of different enemies uh, with, like, one, you have to kill a bunch of enemies. Then I you can have tell to you the quest. I did it heavy. this morning. Yeah. Kill the fallen. Kill the boss, open the chest yep. to get the masterwork core. Kill the hive, kill the hive. Get double power. kill. Got double kills with a heavy machine gun. Kill yep. powerful hive. Yep. Um, kill powerful enemies, which you go into the raid and do. And then times. do it again. And then do it again. In the raid. And then you can go into Archon's Fort. Yeah. 
Or, or, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, Volander. Volander. Volander Forge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like, it's pretty straightforward, uh, but I don't think that that's the part that you should be focusing on, right? Like, that's the that's the attunement, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you're doing that so that you can unlock the Forge, right? Yeah. So to me, the fact that it's... And it took me, you know, it took me like 30 minutes to do that part. Yeah, that part's very... So it's not all that difficult. So mm-hmm. the fact that it's not... Uh, super engaging and amazing. It doesn't really bother me all that much. But like you said, yeah. I am I am on the record many times as saying like I would have loved for that stuff to be more story oriented and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think that's kind of where I'm coming from with this is that it's you know Bungie was pretty clear that th- all of this stuff is going to be end game activities and mm-hmm. end game stuff that isn't you know it's for players who are looking at that end game right. Mm-hmm. And so we can't really be unhappy with the fact that it is. Oh, I can be unhappy if I want to be unhappy, Sean. <laughs> Don't tell me I can't be unhappy because this is a, a terrible expansion that they're charging $12 for. I'm really upset about this. <laughs> I am allowed See, to feel how I feel. You can feel how you feel, and the rest of the community can feel how they feel, but they are charging people money to add matchmaking to a blind wall like activity, and we're going to talk about the... The Volander, but you Sports call, but second. you call this twelve dollars, right? You can't buy Black Armory separately, right? You're right. It's thirty five dollars, and this ex- so, this type of content is going to take us until next year. So your, so what you're really angry about is that you've paid for something that you think is just this, but there's you know weeks and weeks more of this. There thing. are weeks and weeks more of it. Imagine you're a five hundred to five fifty level guardian and you've paid for the annual pass. You've done all the other content. Maybe you've even rated at that light level and you're like, oh, the black armory's out. I'm going to go play it. You get this terrible quest where you go do a bunch of grindy thing. Then you get to the Volander's Forge and you can't do it. I mean, you're probably not going to be able to do it for a month or two even though there is the new catch-up mechanic with the But Bungie the, with the said end. everyone knew that this was endgame content. Yeah. So if you were if you bought black if you bought the annual pass expecting to be able to jump right in and do something crazy at 540 or whatever level, then that's on you. Like that's an expectation problem, not Bungie's problem, I think. They've mar- all they've done in marketing is show you the new weapons. They did a Vidoc talking about what it is mm-hmm. at Rarely, but in that Vidoc, they did say this is all end game. It's end game content that yeah. nobody can access unless you're at the light level cap for the pre for Forsaken, which is the end game. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's I, ridiculous. Some in? people yeah, are no, paying thirty five dollars for this <laughs> and they can't play it. That's their fault. So, I we were all six hundred when Black Army uh, dropped, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So initially, like the first five six hours, I felt like what Destin feels right now. It. The problem is, is it doesn't feel like we got a brand new DLC because we had to do the same content until we got to like 608, 610, right? Yeah. And then you can do the Forge. Mm -hmm. Like realistically, you can have a chance of beating the Forge. And it doesn't feel like we got a new DLC, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Because we just had to do the same stuff again. And to jump off of that, Steven, yeah. this feels like something that should have just been added to the game. Oh, I hate that argument. To though. add Everyone progression. Everyone says that. If they marketed it as Destiny 1, we should have gotten Last Wish, which was part of so that they, original $60. <laughs> hey, you know what else was part of that? Even if it was that? three years later. You know what else was part of that? Trials, which is gone. Yeah, but... The, the, the faction rallies, which are gone... But okay. we but know that Destiny is not the same type of game as World of Warcraft where all the content just accumulates over expansions. It's not that game. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy that I'm going to have something to do for months. The player base is going to bail on this game, and all that's going to be left are the people that are willing to yeah, do this okay, activity. So exactly. And that's, that sucks. That's what I was getting to. I'm worried that a lot of people who aren't at the 600 light level, they're going to they're have to grind for at least another month, right? And I don't know if they're going to stick around for that. So I'm worried. I'm worried about the player base because to them, it's not going to seem like they're going to have anything new to do for three weeks, right? Like they, they're not going to even be able to do the raid because it's going to be like 630 or something. So that's what I'm worried about player base wise. However, after I did do the forge with Sean and we mm-hmm. did complete it, I started to understand where they were taking this. And you know how they were saying they don't want. Every they don't want us to burn it through the content day one. They want it to be like a buffet that never ends. Yeah, and I can see how they're doing it. Like every weapon is going to be a random roll. All the all the forge weapons are going to be a random roll, and then there's another set, although they're reskinned. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's random rolls on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to be going through that long grind to get that weapon constantly for the next couple months or so. My only worry though is 
once everyone is at that light level and the difficulty of forage doesn't matter and it's just yeah. strictly farming for weapons, mm -hmm. if those weapons aren't stellar, aren't stellar like the EP shoddy or like if there's no reason for me to grind any of those weapons because there's other better meta weapons, then where's all the content, right? And that that's yeah. the crux of it. Let's talk about the event, the forge itself. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's interesting or compelling? Because I like have the blind well. It's exactly. And how do you feel about the blind well right now? It's boring. How do you feel about escalation protocol right now? Well, how I feel about it is escalation I protocol like escalation when it first protocol. came out. I really like how mm -hmm. difficult it is right now. Yeah. But yeah. now when you do escalation protocol, it's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the forge is going to turn out to be, and unless the the next forge is yeah. Well, so mechanic. that's the other thing is I have a little bit of faith. I hope that the next forge is something different. Like I hope the mechanics are different. Instead I hope just killing I hope, things. Yeah. Yeah. I hope every forge is different. Like if it's just the same thing where you're killing ads, throwing balls at the forge in a mm -hmm. different location, that's a little boring. But yeah. like the I idea, I think they'll be different. Yeah, but the idea that, like Steven said, if the goal, if the end game is collecting the perfect roll of weapons, right? That's yeah, what it is, yeah. right? So the idea that every week or every two weeks or whatever, there's going to be a new forge and a new god roll to chase, and that, that at least for a couple of weeks, it mm -hmm. might be pretty tough for people. I think that's more than enough for twelve dollars. I will say this: I'm interested. Twelve. I'm interested in chasing the weapons. You can't buy it individually, so it's thirty-five. Actually, right? Because you, you get you get the you get the annual pass. If you break it apart, it's about twelve with taxes and all that crap. I'm basically just using your <laughs> words against you. Is what I'm okay? Saying. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It is twelve dollars, <clears throat> and this is an ever evolving game. They have to figure out a way to do this, but they're in a tricky spot where now they're releasing content that is basically stuff that normally the player base has expected to happen throughout the game as it evolves. Trials of Osiris comes out. That's a regular activity we can do. Iron Banner is a regular activity. New uh, Forges would seem like something that Faction Rally should have been. And they're charging us for that now. And that's where I take issue. And also, I think it's really uh, not going to be compelling content by week four. Because if you go look at all those bounties, all those bounties are go grind, do a thing. Which is like what Destiny is. And so I, I just think it's really poorly imagined. And I'm really disappointed with with what it ends up being, even though I have stuff to chase. I think, I do agree with Steven, I do think they're in a tricky spot right now because yeah. there is this perception, and even I, who am defending Black Armory at this point, I do, like, even I recognize that I think that a lot of people don't feel like we got a new expansion. I think that's because of things that I was hoping to get that yeah. we didn't get. Like, so for instance, there's not much of a story behind the Black Armory that's explained in that quest. Like, mm -hmm. you're not really fleshing out Ada 1 as a new character, although there's, like, a hint of it, you know? Like, why is she so distrustful of Guardians? Doesn't yeah. matter. Next part of the story, right? <laughs> like, that's kind of how it's treated. I think the, if those things were integrated, we might feel like it's new content because yeah. all of the new content we've gotten before has included a new campaign and new characters and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the issue. But I think, like, this idea... I think we have... I think is. As regular Destiny players, I think the community has to give Bungie the, de the benefit of the doubt here, right? This is a brand new format of distributing content that they have never tried before. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't be so hot-headed to write it off immediately, literally a day after it yeah. released. Because, I, yeah, we're good chance this before the raid comes out. Yeah, so good chance contact. that, like, yeah, so that's the other thing is like, so we tried whatever, we, we tried the blind well, right? We mm -hmm. tried the forge. And we're, some of us are, you know, okay on it some of us are not so okay on it right but like we have a raid coming up mm -hmm. in like a week or two right there's other stuff that's coming down the pipeline on a regular basis yeah. like i want to see where we're all at by week five or six yeah and then how does that collection of content feel for what we're doing regular like on the regular you know yeah activity wise this, and this stuff. annual pass has parsed out the content all the way past january to the next thing that we're getting and then it'll take us all the way to the the following september when i assume and hope we get a larger larger expansion of some sort yeah like